This was my husband, James. My two children, Dania and, and Reese. They were on Pycon when the Cylons attacked. What do you feel when you look at this photograph? I feel rage! Against the Cylons? Hmm. Not just the machines. Anyone involved. The engineers who designed them. The corporations. The politicians who provoked this war and then did nothing to protect us. And most of all, the gods. The gods. We stood by and let it all happen. Yes, I know. orientation reset Thank you. 
taking higher resolution photo. Centering heads up display. Preparing for jump. Charging the FDL drive.
Charging flame shift drive. Charging the FDL drive. She's out of control. Well, what are you saying? We are running on fumes, Anders. In two days, we are going to be overdue for a rendezvous with the fleet. We can review. We got to hear this week's main stories. The 
Charging flame ship drive. Are you talking me? Spectacular work of art has soured new year festivities for thousands of federal citizens. A colossal hollow sculpture inspired by the federal insignia was due to be unveiled to mark the start of 3305. Into a trap. But upon activation, the image that materialized was a gigantic cat's face, winking repeatedly. Meanwhile, Professor Catherine Rook has admitted that her company's nanomedicines are of utopian origin. That the original material was sold to Vita Dynamics by independent pilots. She also scanned the original cargo to Utopia while insisting that Vitadine be allowed to continue the manufacture of derived nanomedicines. The Pranav Antel has insisted that production cease, however. General, I've I've been arrested the recently. Years, no. Preparations are underway for the second distant world's Plus expedition, the which will see a community of explorers cross the galaxy. The expedition will chart a course through the heart of the galaxy, mapping a... Explored regions and making new scientific discoveries. Also involved the construction of a starport dedicated to the study of Sagittarius A. Nearly 4,000 commanders are expected to take part. The isolationist group Nova Imperium has started mustering its forces in the Paris system. Senator Denton Patrios to issue a statement ordering the ships to disperse. The Imperial Navy must now find a way the threat without it being seen as a massacre of imperial citizens, which will only fuel further rebellion. An open order for military supplies has been placed on behalf of the Federal Navy by the League of Zero. A parallel operation is flame shift drive engaging. In the Imperial faction, the Cersa Company. Both initiatives begin on the 3rd of January 3305 and will run for one week. Finally, an initiative run by Herculean Machines, manufacturing. Drive personal computers has concluded. Multiple shipments of consumer technology, hardware diagnostic sensors, and computer components were delivered to the Glantrum system, which will be part of a large order from the Federal Navy. And those are the main stories this week. Nova Imperium musters military forces. The isolationist group Nova Imperium is reported. Assembling its forces in the Paris system. Senator Denton Patrias made this statement. Engaging jump. We have evidence that this seditious organization is amassing an armada in its home system. It consists of ships crewed by Imperator Mordanticus's ex Navy followers, as well as the private vessels of many misguided. Correspondent Leon Banerjee provided an overview for the Vox Galactica media outlet. The first distant world mission in 30 the largest fleet expedition in history, and saw over a thousand ships travel to Beagle Point and back. Distant Worlds 2 has even loftier ambitions, involving an impressive voyage through the heart of the galaxy, mapping unexplored regions and making new scientific discoveries. It will also involve the construction of a starport dedicated to the study of Sagittarius A. Project leaders Erimus Kamzel and Dr. Kai report that nearly 4,000 courageous commanders will take part, despite the risks involved, in a journey of over 200,000 light years. Distant Worlds 2 is scheduled to launch in January 3305, with the complete round trip lasting approximately 300 days. Herculean Machines Initiative concludes. An initiative run by Herculean Machines, 
Manufacturer of Dora Drive personal computers has now concluded. Multiple shipments of consumer technology, hardware diagnostic sensors and computer components were delivered to the Blatrim system, which will be used to fulfill a large order from the Federal Navy. Maddox Heard, the company's CEO, made this statement. Once again, I offer my thanks to the galactic community for its support. We're very pleased to become a supplier to the Federal Navy, and we hope that the URA drive remains in production for a long, long time. Pilots who took part in the initiative can now collect their system scan complete. Rewards from Boltzmann Hub in the Blatrim system. Supplies for Federal and Imperial Navies. An open order for military supplies has been placed on behalf of the Federal Navy by the League of Zera. A spokesperson for the organization gave the following statement. The Federal Navy urgently requires shipments of battle weapons, land mines, and performance enhancers to be delivered to Payson Hub in the Zela system. A parallel operation is being run by Imperial Faction the Circo. Taken photo. The Imperial Navy's logistics division has authorized us to process the orientation. Of battle weapons, Reset. reactive armor, and Imperial slaves. The drop-off point is Mitchell Hangar in the Circo system. Both initiatives begin on the 3rd of January 3305 and will run for one week. If either initiative meets its targets earlier than planned, that campaign will end immediately. Vitadine admits nanomeds of utopian origin. Professor Katrian Rook has responded to Prana Van Tau's claim that her company's nanomedicines are of utopian origin. I confess that Vitadine Labs did not invent the nanomeds, but neither did we steal them. We were approached by independent pilots who discovered a crashed utopian transport ship. The recovered cargo canisters were clearly medical in nature, so the foragers sold them to us as legitimate salvage. I would be happy to return the original cargo to Utopia with our apologies. The new nanomets that we have created are our property, how- Disengaging jump. And I insist that we be allowed to continue their manufacture. Pranavantau swiftly issued a reply. Any derivative nanomedicines must also be returned to us, and production must cease. Our technology cannot be used outside Utopia. The Interstellar Health Organization has said that it will review the case and make a decision. Theft ruins New Year celebration. The theft of a spectacular work of art has soured New Year festivities for thousands of federal citizens. Kyoko McGrath, culture correspondent for the Federal Times report, Change camera. A colossal hollow sculpture was due to be unveiled at midnight to mark the start of 3305. Change camera. The intention was for the sculpture to be visible above Olympus Village and seen by millions of people. But upon activation, the image that materialized was a gigantic cat's face, winking repeatedly. The original hollow sculpture code was later discovered to have vanished. The Federal Security Service believes the culprit to be the same art thief who stole valuable works on Alioth and Eotians SA3, both of which were marked with an identical wicked jumping eye. cat motif. There are no leads at present. Frame shift drive engaging. Alliance and Federation react. Four, three, two, one. Tonight, Imperium. The leaders of the Alliance and the Federation have commented on the rise of the isolationist group Nova Imperium. Prime Minister Redmond Mahone told the Alliance Assembly. The civil unrest in the Empire is an internal matter, but it would be a major concern if it resulted in a policy change regarding inter-superpower cooperation. We are therefore watching the situation closely. In Congress, President Zachary Hudson said, If Nova Imperium comes to power and the Empire ceases contributions to Aegis, I combine... Drive deactivated. ...defenses against the 
Cargoid threat will be jeopardized. In such a case, the Federation would be forced to intervene in order to safeguard humanity's future. Independent sources have confirmed that Federal Navy resupplies have increased in frequency. Fleet maneuvers have also taken place in regions bordering Imperial territory. Week in review. Here are this week's main stories. Charging the FDL drive. Federal Shadow President Felicia Wynn. Rochester is the deputy leader of the Federation's Liberal Party. The new Shadow Vice President is the matriarch of the powerful Rochester family, which includes the CEO of Core Dynamics and two Federal Navy officers. Vice President Rochester said she was honored to accept the position. Imperial Senators supporting the isolationist group Nova Imperium have demanded that Emperor Arisa Lavigny Deval acknowledge its figurehead, Adrian Orga. Disengaging jump. Chancellor Anders Brain responded by saying that Nova Imperium was a fringe organization with no right to determine policy. The Emperor's lack of response has led to accusations of weakness, with many calling on her to step down. In other news, Samgura Pranavantel has claimed that the nanomedicines developed by Vitadine Labs were in fact developed in Utopia. In a statement, Simguru said the nanomedicines were never intended for Lash use outside systems. of Utopia, and demanded their immediate return. The leaders of the Alliance and the Federation have commented on the rise of Nova Imperium. Alliance Prime Minister Edmund Mahon said the unrest afflicting the Empire would be a concern if it affected in Taking higher resolution photo. While Federal President Zachary Hudson said the Federation would be forced to intervene if Nova Imperium came to Reconfiguring power the Empire's contributions to Aegis. Meanwhile, the Federal Navy has requested a large shipment of Dora Drive personal computers from manufacturer Herculean Machines. Maddox Heard, the company's CEO, said the request was a testament to the Dora Drive's reliability. Herculean has placed an open order for various commodities to fulfill the request. Finally, twin initiatives to supply Imperial Senator Simone Liedrich's as festivities have reached a successful conclusion. As the campaigns drew to a close, Senator Leedrix said she hoped the sight of her glittering mountaintop retreat would serve as an inspiration amid the current civil disquiet. And those are the main stories this week. Antal levels accusation of Itadine. Sim Guru Pranavantal, leader of Utopia, has made a statement regarding the new nanomedicines developed by Vitadine Labs. The nanomedicines that Professor Katrian Rook claims to have created were in fact developed in Utopia, and have been in use for decades. Several months ago, a medical transport disappeared after departing from the Polvnik system. Fighter deployment sequence initiated. <laughs> Taking photo. Change camera. Taking higher resolution photo. Change camera.
Resetting Oculus Rift. Taking photo. Resetting Oculus. Fight of retrieval sequence initiated. Taking higher resolution photo. Resetting Oculus Rift. <laughs> 